Hey guys, welcome to IntelliPath. So RPA is one of those technologies that have the potential to revolutionize the way organizations work today. By automating monotonous and repetitive jobs, we can eliminate the possibility of human errors. We can also reduce operational cost. We can also save time. So keeping this in mind, we have come up with a video tutorial on one of the most powerful RPA tools that is Automation Anywhere. So before we move forward, do subscribe to IntelliBath's YouTube channel so that you never miss out on our upcoming videos. So now let's go over the agenda for today's video. We'll start this video with a basic introduction to Automation Anywhere. After that, we will learn about the architecture of Automation Anywhere. And then we'll see how to install and set up Automation Anywhere. After that, we'll get a basic overview of the tool and then we'll perform a hands-on on fake name generator. And then finally, we'll have a quiz to recap what all you have learned from this video. So make sure you put your answers down in the comment section below to know if you're correct. Also guys, if you're interested in an end-to-end -end certification program on Automation Anywhere, then do check out IntelliPath's Automation Anywhere certification course. The link is given in the description box below. So now, let's get started. Now, Automation Anywhere came into existence in the year 2003. It has a community edition, which is a completely free platform used by small-scale industries and students to automate small tasks. It has the drag and drop and macro recording features. It is one of the best RPA purveyors that offers the most powerful and user-friendly interface to automate end-to-end -end business operations for an organization. It also provides its users with flexible, scalable, and most importantly, secure services for solving complex issues. Let's talk about Automation Anywhere architecture now. The main components of Automation Anywhere architecture are the control room, bot creator, bot runner, and the bot farm. Let me give you a brief explanation of each of these components. Control room. It is called the heartbeat of Automation Anywhere's enterprise. Now, what does it deal with? The code for the bots is controlled by the this control room, which makes sharing of the codes easy across various systems. It also has the dashboard feature that has all the bot analytics and it also creeps a track of the status of each and every bot. It also provides a licensing management where the purchase licenses are configured. Bot Creator It is a desktop based application which is used by the developer to create or to build the bots. Now on configuration of these bots, developers can create individual different bots and execute them all at the same time. After successful authentication, the codes of these bots can be added, updated, all can be done in the control room. Bot Runner Now, bot runners are the machines where the bots run. They can't really create or add an update to the automation, but multiple bots can be created all at once. The bots also intimate the control room regarding completed or failed task status of the task. Bot Farm a bot form provides RPA as a service through Automation Anywhere Enterprise. Let me explain this with an instance. Now sometimes during heavy workloads, the bot runners need more servers than what is provided. During these situations, the servers can be borrowed from the bot farms for the required amount of time. And they will be returned back to the bot farm once the work is completed. This saves the developers from wasteful expenses on servers which might not be really used otherwise. To summarize, here is a simple representation of the architecture of Automation Anywhere. The developer builds the bots in the bot creator, while the control room's features has all the bot analytics and it keeps a track of status of each and every bot. And the bots are run in the bot runner. The bot farms lets the bot runner borrow the servers as and when needed. Now that we have a basic idea of what Automation Anywhere is, let's see how to install it. Go to Automation Anywhere website first. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Community Edition. So first we have to fill in all the details under the Community Edition. Click on the box and hit the Download Now button. So we'll receive an email with the control room URL, username and password. We have to click on the control room URL and log in with the user credentials which are also sent in the email. So after this, we'll be taken to the control room homepage which is nothing but a web-based platform. In this control room, we will find something called as a download client button. Click on that and a zip folder will be downloaded. After the download is completed, we have to double click on the automation anywhere community edition.exe to start the extraction. So after the extraction of the files um, is completed, 
the first setup wizard will pop up. Here we have to click on the next button. In the next window, which is nothing but a license agreement window, we have to click on the accept radio button and again click on next. We'll be taken to a destiny select destination folder window. Do not change anything here, just click on next. Finally, in the configuration window, click on install button. Do not change anything here again. After the installation is completed, click on finish button in the setup wizard window. A window to log into the application will automatically open. Now in the log into control room window, copy the control room URL which has been sent to the uh, to our email that we saw in you know, step 2 and paste it under the control room, control room um, the blank there. Fill in the username and the password or the required credential which is again like from the email itself and click on login. Quick info guys, if you're looking for an end-to-end -end certification on Automation Anywhere, then do check out IntelliPath's Automation Anywhere certification course. The link is given in the description box below. So now let's continue with the session. Okay guys, like I said, I'll be showing you how to install Automation Anywhere web application. So first let's copy paste this URL to go to the website. So you'll be taken to this page. There's an Enterprise Edition and Community Edition. I'll be showing you how to install the community edition. It is a free edition and it's used by, you know, small businesses and students to perform simple automation tasks. So let me click on download and you'll be taken to this site where you will have to fill in the details, your first name, last name, email, country, phone number, company. And after you fill in all the credentials, click on this radio button and click on download now. So I've already done this. After you click on download now, you will get an email like this with the control room URL, the username and the password. So you have to click on the control room URL and you'll be taken to the, this login page. Okay, so you'll be taken to a login page where you will have to put your um, username and password and click on login. And after that, this control room page uh, will open. In this page, you have to click on download client. It's a zip folder. So this will take some time to download. So our download is almost completed. Just a few more seconds. Yeah, so our download is completed. Let's open this AACE zip folder and so click on this um, AA-CE download folder you'll find three items uh double click on automation anywhere community edition dot exe to start the extraction the installation turn the password and the installation will begin now sorry the extraction so after the extraction of file is completed the first wizard will pop up let's wait for it yeah Click on the next button. This next window is the license agreement. Click on accept. Next. Next again. Don't change anything here. Click on install. And the installation has begun. This might take a few minutes. Okay, so finally it's done. Click on finish. So now a window to log into the application is automatically opening. This is a log into control room window. So here the control room URL and the username is the same as what has been sent to the email like email. So just copy paste it here, the control room URL, the, the username and password to click on login. And that's it. We have successfully installed our Automation Anywhere web application. Our next topic is Automation Anywhere tool overview. So this is uh, our Automation Anywhere tool overview. We have a top panel, the action site, panel with all the commands to perform different actions and a right panel. Let's have a look at each of these. So the top panel, it has new button which is to start a new task record it mimics the actions that we perform when we start recording 
and it mimics these actions the exact in the exact same way when we run it and run the task that we have built or developed save is to save the built task set snap point to save a program at any state point enable debugging to identify and, and remove the errors that have occurred the action site is where we built the task and it has filters which lets us remove or keep the mouse moves keystrokes mouse clicks and delays by checking or unchecking this radio button there the radio buttons which are there uh the right panel the first is the error view to handle all the errors that have occurred in the task next is the variable manager we can add new variables or edit the existing variables in here like copying paste any delete anything and bot dependencies to manage the dependent files and like add copy copy all paste delete files from my tasks my docs and my script folders let's have a look at all the left hand side commands first is the keystrokes mouse this is to insert different keystrokes or mouse clicks or mouse move or even mouse scroll um say this can be used to fill in website form details next is program files windows to open a file or a program and perform various actions on this file such as copy delete and many more in order to perform system actions like even to shut down to log off or even restart the system so the user can just enter the path name of the file to perform all the actions that we've seen on this file next is the conditions loops to perform various if else else if and end if commands and also the other loop commands like start loop end loop exit and continue commands the next is pause delays and wait to pause an action or apply a delay or even you know wait options internet offers a lot of internet options for say web recording launching a website sending email soap and rest web services tasks script it offers options to run a task stop a task and run a script applications to read from a csv or a text file to perform actions on the excel spreadsheets and to perform database and xml actions interactive it has an interactive option to prompt for a value a file a folder or even just yes or no options it also offers a message box that pops up whenever we call it in the action site miscellaneous offers a uh, various clipboard options allows the insertion of comments plays different sounds like beep and various other and different variables and uh, also string operations system provides options for printers services snmp and active directory advanced offers error handling commands image recognition option to search for an image within an image screen capturing options and workload options integration pack for app integration um ocr that optical character recognition email automation pdf integration and many more security to encrypt decrypt uh, and even create keys to secure the files or the folders so now that we know what to expect to see in the automation anywhere tool let's do a small hands on demo using fake name generator okay guys now that we've successfully installed the web application let's do a hands on demo so what we're going to do in a hands on demo is open something called as fake name generator.com and this is a website where you find random information random names and random phone numbers of just random people so every time we click generate we get new information about just these are all fake information it doesn't belong to anybody so what we have to do is take the name and say phone number of a person extract it into a excel spreadsheet and click on generate extract again the name and the phone number as many times as we want and uh, after all this is extracted into the excel spreadsheet we have to email this spreadsheet so let's see how we can go about with it quick info guys if you're looking for an end to end certification on automation anywhere then do check out intellipath's automation anywhere certification course the link is given in the description box below
So now let's continue with the session. So I'm going to make use of record today. There are three types of recorders, smart record, screen recorder and web recorder. Since uh, we're going to be working with like a web website, we have to click on web recorder, which is it's already selected. So let's start our recording. URL is fake name generator start. So let's wait until the page is completely loaded. So we have to extract data, right? So click on extract data. There are two types of data, regular data and pattern based data. So pattern based data is when the information, the data has a particular pattern. Like for example, in this itself, fake name generator itself, the name always comes here and phone number always comes here. So even if you click on generate, the new name, again, it has a particular pattern at which it occurs, the information. The data might vary, but the, you know, the coordinates where the inf that, that particular information occurs is it always has a particular sequence so that is pattern based data so i'm going to click on pattern based and click on next so now we have to select the data we want to extract first is the name so click on name and then capture so i can't click on generate right now so i can click on the same information to give it a particular pattern fake name save it we can add another column by clicking on add. Let's say phone number. Click on phone number, capture phone number. This will be phone. Save it. Click on next. So data spans is when you want uh, to automatically move to the next page. Sometimes there are uh, multiple pages, right? So if you want it to automatically move to the next page, extract the information from there, you can click on data spans and click on capture and you can specify the, the tab that has to be clicked on to move to the next page. So I'm not going to use that because we have like a finite loop to consider. We don't want to keep going on and on and on because a fake name generator does not have an end page. So it's just going to be infinite. We don't want that. So let's click on next and finish it. Sorry for finishing what? CSV file do we want all this information to be extracted in let's say fake names open click on finish and now the uh, information the name and the phone number is extracted and we have to click on generate after this so we are showing the automation tool that after we extract this information generate has to be clicked on so let's stop the recording save it and open it so here is the code or the commands that have been automatically generated first the fake name generator.com is a uh, web url is here after opening that we have to extract the name and the phone number and later click on the generate command to move to the next page and then again you know the extraction has to happen so this is a loop right so we have to obviously insert a for loop so before i can do anything let us put in a variable add a variable let's name the variable n o or x and this is a value save it yes it should be a null value yes so here it is our new variable close it and now we want um we the user has to be able to insert the x value so he has to get a prompt message asking him to enter the x value so it's a value prompt for value from which window it's obviously fake name generator internet explorer click on that enter the prompt message enter the value of x so what exactly is x right now x is the number of times or the number of names and phone numbers that we want basically the number of times the generate has to be pressed and uh, when it moves to the next page it has to again take the information so yeah that's the when the for loop has to end assign a value to the existing variable we have already created the variable x so assign it to x save it so the prompt message should be displayed as soon as the web page opens so and now this 
these two here should be inside a for loop, right? So we have a loop command here. Click on times. You can even drag and drop it. The number of times that we want the loop to happen is x. So let me click on f2 and insert my variable here we have x. Insert it and save it. So the for loop should come after the prompt message. So the for loop has started, extract it, generate it, or click on generate. And yeah, this happens x times and end the loop. And to be able to view the uh, extracted data, let me open the, uh, the spreadsheet. For that, I have Excel open spreadsheet. Let's choose the spreadsheet path. It's okay, let's say, uh, okay, before we do that, let's see if this is working and then we will have um, all the data extracted in the fake names in the spreadsheet and then we'll have a look at the spreadsheet. Run. It's asking for the value of x. Let's say we want four values. Okay. So the new page is automatically get, getting open. And now the data is extracted. Let me open the spreadsheet now. Open spreadsheet, spreadsheet path. See automatically a uh, CSV file is generated, um, created. Click on open and save it. Let's save this and run again. This, let's say we want five values this time. Here it is. We have the information of all the people. One, two, three, four, five. Five names and phone numbers. This is the first time I did it. Four people. I, I selected four. So we have four people and here it is. Five people. So that's how it works. Now that uh, we've seen the information here, we want it to be emailed to anybody. So let's say we don't want this Excel sheet to be open. So let's delete it and email it now. Send email from enter the email ID and the attachment is fake names and you can change the subject or anything here. You can change everything here and save it. Save it. Let's run it. Okay, let's just seven. It's done. The action is completed. Let's go to the email ID and see if we've gotten any email. Yes, we have. Along with the CSV file here. Here it is. Fake name, phone number. So I did it three times, right? So fake name, phone number, fake name, phone number, and the third time, fake name and phone number. So this is how we do it. Uh, the reason as to why I did not put the open spreadsheet, why I deleted the open uh, spreadsheet is because if the spreadsheet is open, then the email, uh, the attachment will not be sent. We see that even uh, otherwise, right? So I, I just had, I wanted to show you the uh, spreadsheet where the data is extracted only. So that's why I showed that first and then deleted it and then deleted it when I had to send the email. I hope you guys understood how Automation Anywhere works and how exactly the task automation is done and how easy it is to just automate tasks to reduce the human workload. If you have any doubts, you can ask us in the comment section. I hope you found the demo interesting. To end our session, let's do a short quiz. What is RPA? Do let us know what you think RPA is by commenting in the comment section below. Quick info guys, if you're looking for an end-to-end -end certification on Automation Anywhere, then do check out IntelliPath's Automation Anywhere certification course. The link is given in the description box below. So this brings us to the end of this session. I hope you guys found this video informative. If you have any queries, then do leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll get back to you at the earliest. Thank you for watching.